Okay, so it's Friday. Um, today is May 12th, and just leaving Casa Susie and Trabadolo. Or Trabadolo. And it was a really fun stay. Um, there's something about these communal dinners where you introduce yourselves and <clears throat> you kind of just give a little speech about your Camino experience or why you're doing the Camino or whatever you want to share really <clears throat> and um, it just kind of makes everybody um, feel a little bit closer to each other especially when um, uh, people are willing to be a little bit vulnerable like um, most people are just gonna say that they're doing the Camino for you know because they always want to do it or whatever physical activity whatever and then occasionally there's people that will actually like share like whatever they're going through and when one person is willing to do that, then it kind of makes everybody else also willing to share. And that's when, you know, people kind of um, really start feeling those connections. So it was a good time. <clears throat> um, but now I need to leave and climb Mosa Barrero. Not looking forward to it, but you know, it is what it is. Got to do it. So a couple kilometers out of town and I'm not sure if it's coming up on the video, but there's one two three four five six seven eight at least eight pilgrims in front of me this is the most i've ever seen at one stretch and it could be because i left at 8 30 this morning and not my usual time of like 9 9 30. Coach. Still wearing my rain gear just because, just in case it decides to rain. But so on that side, we have dark clouds. That side, there's some sun coming through. Um, <clears throat> just don't know which way we're walking. Heart. Hola. Arrow for Camila. Baby one, right there. Cows running down. Big. Just made it to Las Herreras. Oh, this stream is really scenic. Also. Kind of through the end of Las Herreras, didn't really notice that anything was open. So that's gotta suck. So this is the first poop <laughs> that 
of the horses that I would have been riding on if I had made it this morning. But, um, well, I can't do it. Yeah, but this is a nice path. A little bit steep, but it's fine. Just go slow and take your time. And eventually you'll get there. So. Just went through one switchback. Huh? Downhill, sorry. <laughs> Downhill, and then you can see the path down there still. Um, all the way down to the bottom there. But it's a pretty steep climb. And we have a few more of these still to go. So you can kind of see how steep it is. And this is why we hike. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a lovely route. This is a... Oh. Look, there's those uh, shepherd type dogs. Yeah. We'll round them up. It's kind of awesome. So yeah. this dog, he's like, come on dog. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> like, oh, he's going to make a... He's making sure. Yeah, yeah, he's making sure they're not uh, yeah, he's got a getting out of he's line. Got a strategy. Yeah. Keep them all encircled. Tanto de dos kilómetros llevo a dos galletas. Y a su galleta. Entra su galleta. Hola. Vale. Ya entró en Galicia. Hola. Those houses out there, like, how do they bring the material up to build it? You know what I mean? Like, I don't see any roads, so it had to have been like by cow or yeah, you wonder sometimes. tractor. Yes, absolutely. It's amazing. Okay, so we just passed La Laguna. Um, maybe another two, two and a quarter, two and a half kilometers to Osobrero. But yeah, so maybe another, hopefully an hour, and then pass it, pick up some food, and then continue on to Linares. This is the last province. Yeah. And then Santiago. Okay, so we're, we entered Galicia. You can see the path ahead is just gonna go wrapped around this mountain. And then probably on the other side will be Osobrero or somewhere. But we have about 160 kilometers um, to Santiago. Beginning of the end. Miguel Gulo. Nice view. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at Right, this. those flowers, right? Oh my gosh. And that might be wild, wild growing. No, it can't be wild. They no. probably planted those. 
They put, the, you know what, how they do, they put the seeds with a straw. Oh, really? Nice. Inside, yeah, I have never seen it in a book. Who does it? I mean, like people, you know, they want to plant the tree, so oh, they really? don't put, yeah. Oh. They put the seeds, they put a little dirt in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> they put the seeds with the Okay. One, two, three. So this is the church of Sobrero. Uh, um, now we're going back into the town. Oh my gosh, look at this. Amazing. Right? This reminds me of like a fairy tale. Yeah. So look at this. Wow. Like Hansel and Gretel or something. Oh, look at that house. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Right? Yeah. That's awesome. Hmm? Ah, see, see.